now. All right, Doug, please, th again, thank you so much for your time here, sir. Uh, please tell us about yourself. Okay, my name's Doug Black. Uh, I was born here in Dark County. Uh, I went to school here, graduated in 1963. In 1965, I got my draft notice, and I went in in uh, October of 65. I think there was 18 of us left to draft board in Greenville, board 33, uh, the same day. And I think 16 of us ended up in the same army outfit, because it was a big 500,000 building for Vietnam. I uh, went to Fort Devens, Mass, trained for a year. We left uh, Boston Harbor on two ships, went directly to Vietnam, went down through the Panama Canal, uh, stopped at San Diego and resupplied. Uh, I was in Vietnam from August of 66 to August of 67, and then I returned home and uh, did move to California for a year, moved back to Dark County. And I've been here since then. Uh, I've always been involved with the veterans organizations. I uh, belong to the VFW, I'm a life member, American Legion. And I was involved here in uh, 1998 when we started the wall. This was a rough field. Uh, we've got uh, sod crawled around on the hands and knees, laid it all. Walls Brothers was nice enough to blacktop us a walkway on the inside of the wall. And I helped down here the whole time we had the wall in. I was one of the committee members, and it was an honor to do it then, and I'm very proud to be a veteran. Uh, Doug, do you remember what ship you were on? Uh, I think it was you remember the name of it? Darby. There was two ships, the Patch and the Darby, and our whole brigade went to Vietnam at one time, and that was kind of unusual because most people went to NAMI that flew over or were replacements, and I stayed with those gentlemen until March of 67, and I was in the hospital a couple of weeks with malaria. I come back and they shipped half of us out to different outfits because we were all gonna rotate the same day and they couldn't uh, do away with the brigade all the same day in Vietnam because I spent most of my time in War Zone C, was about six miles from the Cambodian border. Uh, it was called the Parrot Speak. I was. Uh, it was Army, right? Army. Army, yes. Yeah. Uh, west of Saigon. And then the actual town when we got there was the Tapioca Field. It was called Tain Nin. Uh, we cut a lot of the field down and set up tents. And we lived there. Uh, I had to laugh different times. Uncle Sam said I'd never in Cambodia, but it was about six mile, and I could read a compass <laughs> and a map. <laughs> I yeah. knew where I was at. So, yeah. uh, fortunately, I didn't lose too many actual people in my outfit, and the gentlemen behind me are the people who didn't come home from Vietnam. Yeah. Yeah. Well, again, thank you for all that that you've done. Uh, uh, can you, uh, what, what do you do now, Doug? Well, I'm retired now. I'm, uh, this is my first term. On, I'm on the Veterans Commission here in Dark County. Uh, I've done a lot over the years, taking veterans to hospitals and my clinics in Richmond, and uh, I have always been involved in the veterans organizations. I'm very fortunate. Uh, I go to a large Vietnam veteran reunion Kokomo, Indiana, every September. This is the 34th year. I've done a lot of volunteer work over there. And my wife and I. You go there, you go there every year? Yes. Uh, that's Since awesome. I've been retired. That's awesome. Previous to that, it kind of depended on when I could get off and when I couldn't. But. I was surprised. I recently uh, was, I, I thought, I, I was curious how many people actually served in Vietnam. And I, I thought it was much lower. It's 2.5 million. 2.5 million. I, that surprised me. I, I, that number is higher than I expected. Yeah, yeah and, and I'm very fortunate because we were a new infantry outfit, the 196 Light Infantry mm -hmm. Brigade. So you were 11 Bravo. Yeah, right on. B, right on. B40. All right. Uh, I was fortunate I made E6 right. while I was over there. That, that was the highest grade? 
Go well, ahead. yeah, because I, was, I wasn't in two years. Well, yeah, that's pretty good for two years, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, my company commander told me I was the only draftee in the 196 that ever made that rank at as all. a non-com. So at I'm all. quite proud of that. Same rank as Audie Murphy. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I know the 25th reunion at Kokomo, Peg, my wife, and I uh, were at the front gate, and we had almost... 50,000 people to in four days. Yeah. Uh, and I go every year, I've made lifelong friends over there. And my outfit, the 196 Light Infantry, we get together every two years somewhere in the country, and this year happens to be uh, Daytona Beach, September 30th. So, of course. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> we get together. I know two years ago it was in D.C. and at the Saturday night dinner, there was almost a thousand of us there with wives, girlfriends, and whatever. That's a lot for, I'll be 70 years old here pretty shortly. Yeah. That's a lot of guys from the same outfit. Yeah. Yeah. All right, a couple more for you, uh, Doug. Again, appreciate this, and I'll let you go. Yeah, in uh, 1967, I was uh, received the Bronze Star for Valor in Vietnam. And down moving up one day and a viper snake bit the guy next to me and I uh, cut the head off the snake and put it in an ammo box and carried him to a chopper. And I was recently inducted into the Ohio Military Hall of Fame of Valor and it was in the state house in the atrium and I'm very honored and very proud of it. Yeah, we are too, to have one of our very own inducted. Thank you very much for being here, very much. And thank you very much for doing this park. Oh, uh, it was an honor. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna expand it, sir. We're gonna, we're gonna make you proud of it. We're gonna I make you proud so. of it. People need to remember. It's important, it's very important. Uh, nowadays, uh, nowadays, you know, people, it's a little five-second clip about war. They really need to know what it is about and what really has happened and what happens to people, yes. real human people. Well, what was sad when we came home, uh, we weren't very well thought of. Mm -hmm. and, uh, you spit on and... We didn't, yeah. most of us didn't say very much, but we always vowed to ourselves that we'd never let that happen to another child. Yeah, that's right. that's right. That's right. All right, and of course, we will we'll definitely want you to have you there on Halloween where we, uh, you know, raise funds for this thing, uh, and you'll have a place of honor there, you and your wife. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, Doug. Appreciate it. Sorry, I kind of... No, that's fine.